Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. Now, I don't know about you, but I have Remote Desktop Manager installed on maybe way too many computers than I need. I don't want to necessarily have the same data sources and same environment in every single computer and station that I use. But once in a while, you may want to export one or more data sources from one Remote Desktop Manager installation to another one. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So for today's example, I'm gonna be using uh, my Mac, which has an older data source that I wanna export because I kinda of wanna see what's in there and uh, maybe clean it up a little bit, but I don't wanna do that on my Mac. I wanna do that on my new laptop. Now for this example, I'm using a Mac as well as a PC, so you'll see where the options are located. So I wanted to export my personal DODB button here and then uh, select the correct data source that I want. And then notice here on the bottom, there's this little import or export configuration. So I'm gonna click on export. And it's gonna say, where would I like to save this? Well, I'm gonna save this into my OneDrive. I've got a special folder here. And I'm gonna export that. And that's it. Now I'm gonna switch over to my PC here. So now I'm on my PC. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my data sources button here. And on the top here, you'll see there's the little, same little icons. And then you'll see here that I can go to my OneDrive and go to my config files where I saved it. And there's my uh, DODB data source. I'm gonna click on open. And then now you'll notice that right here, it popped open. Let's see if I can access it. It's gonna ask me to log in. And that's it. Now I can go in that vault and manage it to my heart's content. Now, obviously, if I wanted to transfer all of my data sources, you know, the best solution might be to export my remote desktop manager configuration file, which is a video I'll post up right here so you can access that video as well. So the import and export data source feature is very simple and straightforward, but we designed it that way so that it's easy for you to transfer your data sources from one installation to another. Now, as always, if you like these types of videos, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. That way we can make more content just like this one. Thanks and have yourself a wonderful rest of your week.